Hey, it's Ashley from someRandomLady.com. Welcome to part one of a three-part series of an introduction to my homeschool planner. This first part of the series, we're going to be doing a quick flip through of how I do my annual setup of my Recollections Horizontal Planner from Michael. So inside, one of the first pages is a 2017 and 2018 planner. I've changed 2017 to attendance tracking with here, no school and cancel. Basically, I cross out the weeks that we're not having school or the days we're not having school. And when I do my weekly planning, I just dot in the days that we're planning to attend. If he has a sick day or we have other things come up, I just cross it out to say that it's canceled. We need to have 180 days in the calendar school year, so this is just a really easy way to keep track at a glance. On the opposite side, we've got 2018 future planning, and this is a little far in advance since it's still January. Um, so I haven't done much with it yet, but I do have these two inch sticky notes that kind of fit perfectly right over each month. So when I am ready to do a little bit of future planning, um, camps and different stuff, activities that we've got planned as a family, these can all go on here without too much hassle. So the next spread was two pages. This was originally a contacts page and I changed it to my curriculum page. To change it, I just put a sticker over the top where it said contacts and put curriculum. And then I put these little white squares over all of the contact information. I've basically given myself a key here of all the stickers that I'm using each week to plan um, with all the resources that I'm using with a couple extra spaces for stuff that we'll be doing later in the year. On the next page, they give you a planning page for 2017 with each month listed. For this, I used pencil because I do do a lot of erasing and moving around. For my annual planning, I've kind of just got a layout of what we're doing from month to month. And right now I've got up to August because that's summer break for us. He will be going to camp, so I know that. And he'll be coming back to school and we'll probably be starting in August. So that's just kind of an overview of what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to skip to the back of the book to show you the rest of my annual setup. Near the back, there's a notes page. And on the other side of the notes page, I've set this up for expenses. Basically, I've just laid out boxes with washi tape and given each one a quarter size box at the bottom for a total for the month. Luckily, I haven't had any expenses yet since it's only the second week in January. So we're doing pretty good so far. On the next page, I have a place for my memberships and online resources, passwords, and information. I have this scattered all over the place right now. Bookmarks on the computer, bookmarks on the iPad, bookmarks on the phone, written down on different things all over the place. So I really wanted to make sure that I have something in my planner that I can always refer back to because I do have two other little ones coming up behind this one. So it's going to be good to have all of my resources and all my membership information on one page when I can't remember it in two years. I have a couple blank pages that I'll probably just be using for brainstorming and ideas, lesson planning, stuff like that. So on the very last note page, I did a sticker index. I love having a sticker index so that I don't have to search for stickers. I know right where I printed them from. And these are all free printables that I found online from my Planner Envy, Planner Problem 101, and Oh So Lovely blog. If you're wondering about the ketchup and mustard, there are days that I just use as a total ketchup day and I call it a ketchup day. I don't know if anybody else does that. And at the bottom, I put do amazing things today because I do like to leave myself a nice note every once in a while. A couple nice things about the recollections planner is that there are a ton of stickers that come with the planner that fit really nicely. Vacation stickers, big day stickers, and some inspiration. Also, a nice big pocket in the back. I have a ton of stickers printed out all on half pages that fit really nicely into here and a plastic pocket where I can keep some loose things. Thanks for taking a look at my Recollections Homeschool Planner. Next week, we're going to be taking a closer look at monthly and weekly planning. So subscribe to my channel for more. And if planning is really your thing, check out my Blackline Masters channel as well.